Hey everyone, so I've been out the loop for like a week now and uh, I haven't even touched my car, I haven't done nothing mechanical, nothing like that. So all I've been doing is like laying in bed sick as heck, so sick and also the rain is like been pouring like crazy down here in Florida. Let's go live to Ollie Williams with the Black U Weather Report. Ollie? It's raining sideways! Well, sounds rough, Ollie. Do you have an umbrella? Had one! Where is it? Inside out, two miles away! Is there anything we can do for you? Bring me some soup! What kind? Chunky! All right, we'll get on that. So that's not even a motivator to even want to work or something on anything. So, uh, feeling a little bit better today. So I'm like, let me go ahead and start to finish putting this engine together. I got some other cars coming in and I want to pretty much get my whole, uh, area right here cleaned up so I could bring that car inside and I could have other cars come in so I could like do whatever I need to do to them so I pretty much have the wiring transferred over and everything like that and the only thing I have really left to do is put the transmission on but I wanted to clean it up a bit first and I don't want to put the transmission on yet until I put the, I swap the turbos over it. So I currently have the stock turbos and the stock down pipes on. So I'm gonna go ahead and do is, uh, today is try and remove the OEM turbos and then put the RBs in and yeah, redo the inlets and all that other good stuff. Cut the watt, cut the lines and make them shorter so they can go up to the vacuum source and all that other good stuff. But yeah, the great thing is, yeah, the wiring is done. It was actually pretty easy, but the only thing that got me, let me see, while I was doing the wiring and I didn't bother plugging everything up yet because I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet, is because, where is it? I noticed right here, this crack. So I'm like, man, this is so messed up because there's no aftermarket company that makes a valve cover for this engine so it's only the OEM and it's like I think it's like five or six hundred dollars I can't remember how much it is but it's over 500 I'm like really I gotta spend 500 on another piece of components to get this running I'm wondering if I could like get some kind of plastic well something over there something like that because like with this hole right here it's not gonna fly because we're gonna go ahead and have pressure loss or something like that because inside here is pressurized for the boost system so this is not gonna fly and also oil is gonna be flying out and stuff like that so I will need to hatch out a plan how to deal with this or I might have to just go ahead and shell out the money to go ahead and get a new valve cover hopefully I could source one from a used one and I would take it off my old ink motor but that one is also old and it has like a slight crack in there that I just patched in so I can't I don't really want to go ahead and use that one and I'd rather just pretty much change the whole valve cover um while it's off the car so that's one thing I gotta do so and also the radiator that I gotta go ahead and buy a new radiator because my other radiator is not in good condition either so I really don't want to go ahead and put crap parts back on my car and then I have to go ahead and sit there and wrench on it so I might as well just make sure I go ahead and get everything put together good so yeah so I just want to go ahead and do the turbos and get that um, lined up and then in the engine bay go ahead and clean everything up so I bought some degreasers so I'm just gonna degrease the whole thing make it like at least presentable because get all this like from the oil leaks and then dirt coming up on there, it just makes the whole engine bay look dirty. So I have the stock down pipe off now. Heavy pieces of uselessness right here. Scream all you want, nobody can hear you out here. I can. Aquaman, help! Hey, 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 let her go. Or what? Or, or, I don't know, man, but you're, you're lucky you're not doing that over here. And I have my catalyst down pipes these are like old 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 school stuff like back when i bought down pipes for this car it was back when i think it was like ar design they had um down pipes were the only like type that was out before vrsf and all those other brands came in the market 
So Raceland came in with some downpipes and I believe I picked these up for like $100 for both periods. So the thing about these is that um, some of them, the batches were like bad. So like the fitment was wrong. So that's why I bought it off somebody that had it on their car before and hence why this one had pretty good fitment. It's two and a half inches. Uh, it's actually time for me to upgrade to like some bigger downpipes, but I'm just gonna rock these for now since I plan on going single in the near future. So why bother spend more money on a twin turbo setup? So I told myself today I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing like situated so that in the morning I could go ahead and uh, put the motor in the car at least because the wiring is done. The RB's turbos are swapped over, the inlets are on, uh, water pump, all that stuff. Warren's done. I think I said that already. It was late. So with these turbos, when I was putting them on, uh, I can't believe what a pain in the butt they are. I thought it'd be a lot easier without an engine, but <laughs> yeah, still a pain in the butt. Um, whoever did uh, a turbo install, with the motor in the car, like <laughs> y'all are like champs, y'all like MVPs, y'all all that. Cause I'm like, this thing is ridiculous. But the good thing is at least I could get my turbo, the rear turbo sealed all the way in. It's nice and flanked up. So I know it's not gonna come off. It's secure, everything is secure. So I'm pretty stoked about that, so. Yeah, the only thing left I really gotta do is really take care of this. So I think um, once I have the motor in the car, I'm gonna take the head gas, not the head gas, gasket, the valve cover off and swap it. So as it starts to rain another day, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this whole engine bay cleaned up. Uh, I've got the engine ready to go in right now. So all I wanna do is go ahead and clean the engine bay. I was gonna put the, transmission on outside the car but it became a pain in the butt to do since i don't really have anything to line up i don't have an engine level or anything like that to line up the engine to the transmission too well especially doing it with one person so yeah i'm just gonna put the transmission on when the motor is in the car so that way i know everything is leveled up and it'll be easier just to like drag the transmission up and slide it on so i'm just gonna get some it's not windex but some degreaser i think some I picked it up at Publix, I believe, when I was, um, which is like my local grocery store. And it was on sale, so the greaser is the greaser. Put the next bottle that I got and pretty much spraying it down the engine bay. I'm gonna get it all nice and saturated. So I also put a little bit of uh, water inside here to dilute a little, a little bit. So that way I could leave it on and let it soak instead of having to like spray it and like um, wash it off in fear of it corroding something. So, so far it seems like it's doing a pretty good job on it. So, yeah, that's what I got pretty much for today. And by tomorrow I should be ready to go ahead and um, put the motor in and then wire, not wire everything up, but put, put the motor in and then go ahead and put the exhaust and put everything back together. So, it's coming along quite nicely.